fridges were miles too blood. Oh, I am. I'm only burning my half. All you care about is money. This town deserves a better class of criminals. And I'm gonna give it to them. It's not about money. It's about sending me message. Everything burns. Let's get Capsule 4G up in here, man. Capsule 4G, what say you? Yo, what's up, man? What's going on, man? Salute to you, man. Salute to you, man. Yo, let's ask you a question, man. We've been doing this back and forth with Spence and Parker. We got our debates about uh, who did this, who beat that, who did, you know, all this all this nonsense. We're going to do this all the the fight. It's all cool, man. But on my channel, I told my subs, yo, if shit don't work out the way it's supposed to, because I visualize victory. So I ain't a fool. I, I bet, bet my channel, channel two months to shut the, the fuck up. up. Now, now I, I want knock out to bet that. that. I, I want, want best fight the best. best to, to bet that. To shut, shut up for two months. months. Is, is it about the box? You can run your mouth it? Or is it about the time? No, no, no. I'm not tired of this, man. Bro, it could be Crawford channels too. Two months. You put so much time and energy. These dudes, man, they don't like nobody talking about them, but we talk about boxes. So what's the problem? If I feel like you're an example, and I think you're an example, and I think you're so-and-so, so, I'm going to put you on my channel and show people you're an example. So right now, right now, this moment, I want this man knock out the better channel. Two months. If Ben loses, shut the F up for two months. Come on, man. Put up or shut up. You know, ain't nothing about the money. Put up or shut up, man. If you're so sure about this, put up or shut up. Let's talk, knockout. knockout. Just bring, bring it. We, we talking boxing, boxing right? right? Come on. Come on. Oh, so no one can hear me. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to let you know what. Whenever two, y'all two, 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 kick up something. No, 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 no. This is the boxing community. Because I feel like you can put my time and energy talking about weights and all this stuff. Well, ain't nothing to think about, man. Shut up or shut up. I'm going to put somebody money, money and, then and then nobody could pay you. Somebody could hurt you, jerk you, that bullshit. I'm, I'm talking about your channel. channel. And I think this should be going on forever now. Two months. Just push up. And, and I'm going to do that. If, 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 if that, that, if that don't, don't work out the way it's supposed to work out, I'm going to shut my channel down. I've been saying this on my channel. So come on. This is all the boss is about your channel. Yeah, come on. I'm not hearing nothing. I'm not hearing nothing. Stakes are raised. Uh, I'm going to go, go to the super, super chat, chat, man. I'm going to go, go to the super, super chat. Oh, no. Give me a minute for a caption for G. Let me go to my man, his grace, and say salute, salute to you, his grace, man, for the super chat, man. I got to go. I got to go eat right now. When I get off, I'm going to talk. Now you're going to talk. Now you're going to talk. I got to go, man. Because you ain't saying nothing. You ain't read the private chat. I said I'd be right back. I ain't read nothing. I ain't read nothing. What do you want, bro? What do you want? I, I want you to bet your channel two months to shut the F up. up. That's, That's what I want. I don't want no money. I don't want none of that. You, you, you believe the sense? Put, put your money on. Put your put your channel. Put your mouth. Shut up. Put up or shut up. You can't hear me. You just don't get excited. I'm not emotionally invested where you think I'm finna shut my channel down over a fight. Nigga, I don't care. It's just too much. It's just too much, bro. This nigga just talking about it. You a weird ass dude. You know that? What? You know that? You weird as hell, bro. You weird as hell. No, I'm weird. I'm weird. You, 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 you care about a fight so much. No, no, no. You don't need to not make a money. You don't need to 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 Crazy. Two months? 
You can run your mother. I love it. You know, I'm going to talk boxing. I'm going to talk boxing every day. I'm going to talk boxing every 10, 15 years till YouTube is gone. I love this shit, bro. And I'm not shutting down my channel for you. You do nothing, man. I'm not shutting down nothing. I talk about boxing. Since you want to do See, this is what you do, bro. You don't really love boxing for real. You ain't not really love boxing for real. subscribe to my main man main man channel Go subscribe to him, man. But you said, what's the issue with this aerosexual knockout 86 TV? Because he's an aerosexual, right? I'm saying he's an aerosexual big time, right? And he's saying, what's my issue? So I want to get straight to the point. Straight to the point. What's my issue is. But actually, I don't have to get into those issues. I want to get into the issue what he already did on your channel regarding me. And how he just watch right now, just watch. Let me get in the van, yo. Come on. He said at Capsule Food G, you've been on YouTube for 10 years. Been on it. I've been on it for two, and I'm way better than you. That's why you mad. Get off my nuts. You mad. I don't like boys. Some shit like that. Say he don't like boys. So see, this is what he say right here. Let me just zoom it up. Knock out. This is what he said. Caps and full. You been. Uh, on YouTube for 10 years and I've been on two and I'm way better than you that's why you mad <laughs> get off my nuts uh, man I don't like boys <laughs> so look at the issue I'm giving you when it comes to knockout 86 now he came on your channel I said I ain't going on this nigga channel I've been on this channel he said I've never been on this channel I've been on this channel plenty of times I'll show you video and clips of that some other time but I've always been on this nigga channel right Right? I ain't scared to be on nobody's channel. He making it sound like I'm scared. So now he hop on your channel because he's so he got a hard on to debate you, man. He got a hard on to debate you, right? Um, so I notice I see the nigga there commenting to 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 to, to main man, main man. I say, yo, what up, chump? What up, chump? Right? So then he replied with that bullshit. So see, this is the same thing that Best Fight the Best did. He lied on me. See now. You lied on me, bro. You said I had my channel up for 10 years, dude. 10 years. Bro, anybody. I'm going to show you proof right now. Because it's all about proof. You could go to my channel. Scroll all the way down. When I even know how to make a thumbnail. And look at the year. Three years I've been on uh, YouTube. Three years. But this man is lying on main mass channel. Where Terrence Crawford fans are, not even on his channel, he lying to his fans. He's his worshipers. He's lying on me, man's channel. And you think I'm gonna let that shit go by? You think I'm gonna let that shit fly, my digger? You really think I'm gonna make that shit fly by? So you said I was 10 years in, and look at my numbers. See, you did that shit to Rebel Boxing. Yo, big up to Rebel. Let me let me show you Rebel. Yeah, homie, you did that same shit to Rebel on somebody else's channel, if I recall, last year. Talking about, look at my numbers. Some diva stuff shit. Look at, look at your numbers and look at my numbers. But then you lied. My dude, you lied on me, man. Saying I was out for 10 years. Where you get those numbers from? Because if anybody, I, I swear, go to my channel. Three years. You see me with my bow head. Don't know thumbnail. All right? Um, Three years. And, and you know what? You know what it is, man? I'm not even worried. Yo, go subscribe to Knockout 
boxing, 86 TV, that bitch ass nigga. Cause you know, there's more bitch ass niggas out here in this world and it's okay if he has more numbers than me. I'm not worried about that, man. Listen, the numbers I didn't, I, I, I blame myself for not having numbers. You know why? Cause half the time I don't say share, like, and subscribe in my videos. Half the time, um, I only do videos once a week, right? Or twice a week, right? Half the time, or most of the time, majority of the time, I, uh, I don't have Instagram to tag. I don't have Facebook because I don't want to be fucking facing my, my face anywhere of people I, I used to see back in the day. They got nothing for me. I ain't got nothing for them, right? So I don't want, I, I don't got all these things to tag and, and community. I don't got all that fuckery, man. I don't, right? So me not having the numbers I want, I don't do super chats. I don't do lives. I don't do all the work that these brothers be putting in. It's okay. So why would I be mad if another man is touching more thousand subscribers than me? I'm not. And I'm showing you the proof. You know why? Because I'm telling you, go and subscribe to that bitch ass nigga. See, he think that I'm mad or jealous of him. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? You think I'm jealous of you? Nigga, you can have, yo, I don't care if you're touching M's, my nigga. I don't care if you got a million subscribers. I told you. It ain't about the money. It's about the motherfucking message. And I'm a man of my motherfucking word. Okay? So now, main man, main man, right? I go on there. I see Knockout. I get out. Jump up on your channel to talk to Knockout and, and say, Let, let's do this bet. And you, you, okay, now, listen to this now. I'm not mad at you, um, main man, main man. I'm not. I'm going to subscribe. This reasoning, right? Even though you took his side, that aerosexual blood clot side, and say, nah, nobody is gonna shut down their channel for two months. I understand, see, I had to sit back and think and I had to do some reasoning. I can't just jump and get mad at main man, main man. That's my man, yo, I love that nigga, man. That nigga always showing some good contact and that's why Knockout's over there um, with a hard on trying to have a, a debate with him, right? So I said, okay, no one's gonna shut their channel down for two months and, and not talk about boxing. So you know what? All right, let me go in the front because I'm about to get busy. Let me get in the front and we're going to talk this talk. Yeah, so where I was at? All right, so main man, main man agreed with uh, Knockout. He said that nobody's going to shut their channel down for two months over a fucking fight. Over a fucking fight. Right? Because it's not that serious, right? All right. So I said, you know what, main man? You got me thinking. Right? Because you agree with this bitch-ass nigga. Right? That try to play me on your channel, right? Telling I got 10 years in, he only got two years, and I'm doing way better than you, like a little diva bitch, bitch ass stush nigga, right? Worrying about numbers and shit like that. All right, so yo, check this out, right? So I say, you know what? Main man got me thinking. Not in a negative way, but in a positive way. I said, let me modify this motherfucking two month, two month deal here. All right, so I said to myself, man. Yeah, you're right. No one's going to... I listened to me and I said, no one's going to shut down their channel. No, no, no. Because there's other boxes to talk about. Canelo, Jamel, Wilder, you know, Team of Fimo if he comes back. Uh, Shakur, blah, blah, blah. On and on and on. Tank and whatever when he comes out of, of, of jail. Whatever. Right? There's other boxes to talk about. So I said, you know what? Me and man, you're right. And you know what? I agree with you, Knockout. I agree with you, Knockout. Nobody should shut their channel down. Right? 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 Because there's other boxes to talk about, and we love this shit. We love this shit. See, I could I could, I could, relate to you, Knockout. See, I could agree with you, my, my, my douchebag. I could relate to you. Right? You fucking skunt. I could relate to what you're saying about nobody, and I agree with both of y'all. Right? See, see, Knockout, I could agree. Like, you see how I was agreeing? With you and Marie Suleiman. You remember you made a video about Marie Suleiman and how um, it's not fair that the two Russians can't fight and uh, um, Butter Beat Butter and Bivo and going for Undisputed uh, with so and so and this and that. And you were showing Marie Suleiman how corrupt he was. Remember you were saying you were showing all the list of things that Marie Suleiman doing with We Be Crooks with WBC. And, and I was like, yeah, right on, man. Power to the people, brother. I believe in what you're saying. And then you finish. And I said, wait a minute. I went in your comments. I said, nigga, you forgot something that Marie Suleiman did. You forgot to state the example that Marie Suleiman is corrupt. 
by doing stupid shit like this. The Errol Spence fight, right? Fighting at uh, 154 for the 147 division of the belts at 154 for Errol Spence. You forgot about that. With Keith Thurman, if that fight would have happened. You, you totally forgot about that, dude. Yo, I'm like, yo. Oh, I'm, look, I'm like, yeah, that's that's good. That, yeah, yeah. Marie Sullivan said this. Marie Sullivan said that. Man, that shit was some crazy shit, Marie. But then when it comes down to Errol Spence, you didn't bring up that topic that Marie Sullivan was going to do. That lame, dotish fuckery that nigga was going to do. Right? For Spence. But you agree on that because you didn't, you didn't, Add, you didn't add that to Marie Silliman bullshit, right? So I agree with you with some things, and basically, you know, um, whether you a bitch ass nigga or not, you know, you might have some points, and some points I don't agree on. So it ain't nothing about it's about reasoning, it's about reasoning, right? So now, there's two months. You know, I'm tired. I'm tired of hearing these niggas, man. I'm tired of hearing these heterosexuals, man. And that's why I say. This should be a universal thing of two months. Now, y'all bitch ass niggas, and y'all tender, and y'all worried about y'all channel, and y'all narcissistic, and y'all can't do without ch chomping your jaws and, and running your mouth and talking about your, your opinion, which is not that important. Like, you know, you said it's not that important, right? I mean, nothing's important, right? Right? But it wouldn't be nice to let the subscribers know that you're not in it for you. I mean, these subscribers give you super chat. They give you ear time, you fuck them in the ear with all your fucking opinions and agreements and you got your worshipers. Yeah, I know you got your worshipers and they gotta hear you, right? In order to live the next day and shit, right? Right, to breathe and shit the next day. They gotta listen to you, right? But I said, let me modify this two months. I'm still doing two months because I'm a man of the word, of, of my word, right? I'm still gonna, let me hold this shit. I'm gonna do two months because I'm a man of my word, right? I'm a man of my word. So I'll let y'all do a fucking month. One month, right? And this time, instead of um, not saying nothing for a whole month, I'm doing two. You're doing one. Don't talk about Errol Spence and Crawford fight at all. You could talk about Tank. You could talk about every other, Devin, whatever you want to talk about. You could talk about Boots, um, whatever. It doesn't matter. Your channel could keep on moving, keep on trucking, keep on trucking. But when it comes to. Uh, <laughs> Errol Spence and Crawford We don't want to fucking hear your mouth At the end of the fight When Errol loses Because let me tell you what's going to happen And man, Bud Crawford would be so happy Man, like, like, like Bud Channels, man My Bud Buddies, bro Listen, I know it's coming from me I'm a nobody um, I do agree on you saying that I'm a weird dude And I ain't, I ain't tight up here Mad sick, head no good Mad sick, head no good we owe it to the subscribers. They take our money, airtime. So all I'm saying is this. One month, if Errol loses, I don't want to hear your fucking mouth. And like I said, I already know what the fucking outcome going to be. When Crawford beats Errol, you know what these Errol sexuals going to do? This is why I don't want to hear these motherfuckers. They're going to come on. They're going to come up with excuses. But they're also going to make it look like an illusion to the ear. Like... They telling you something that you already should know. Let me give you an example. Dan, didn't I tell you if Arrow didn't do this, that Crawford was going to capitalize on that? Damn, Arrow, I told you if you should have done this, then Crawford would have. Nigga, I don't want to hear what else should have, could have, would have done, because that's what y'all do, nigga. Y'all go back in time, all the time. You should have, could have, would have done this. Why he didn't fight this person? I'm tired, yo. I'm tired of all this fuckery talk. I want to see how long this fucking talk about resumes and shit, how long this going to last. Y'all take everything from the past, bring it to the present, and, and, and talk about it like it's a big fucking deal. I don't care who fucking resume it is, man. But I know y'all niggas. Y'all going to come back and act like y'all told us something that we fucking already know. I don't give a fuck about what Errol could have, should have done to win the fight. He lost the fight. The only fucking thing that you was telling me that Errol was going to whip his ass. And it didn't happen. So shut the fuck, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And that's what I want. That's all I want. It's, it, it, it's, it's to shut the fuck up. Can't you do that? 
You know, <laughs> what's, wrong, what's, what's wrong with one month? Of, listen, you could talk about everybody else. So, Mr. Main Man, Main Man, I am going to come back on your channel. And if I'm going to redirect you to this video, if you didn't see it already, I'm sure you subscribe to me. But if you don't see it, hey, it is what it is. The analytics, um, I don't always make a video. So, sometimes people won't get the video. So, I'm going to come back to your channel. I'm going to say, yo, Main Man, Main Man. I modified the situation because I understand because I got reasoning. Not mad because you agree with this bitch ass nigga, right? That try to play me on my channel. I hope you see this part. You try to play me on the channel saying 10 years, right? <laughs> Trying to pitch, put a picture out there. See, this is shit that Best Fight the Best did to me too. Yo, big out to Buckle Up Boxing. Yo, I got to big up some of these channels, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. Big up to Buckle Up Boxing. Watch them here. Watch them here. Yeah, big up to buckle up, man. He's another BFTB killer, right? And this is the same shit that Best Fight the Best did to me, man. See, I don't have pride. I swallow my pride. I throw it in the garbage. I do a three-pointer in the garbage. And the fucking um, board up paper missed the fucking trash in front of everybody. And I still laugh at myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, pride is a, is, a, is, a, is a hell of a drug, man. Pride is a hell of a drug. So... You know, when I first started looking at boxing, I always check the brothers out. I'll get into that with the LDBC in another video, right? So, I'm listening to this dude, and I'm questioning what he's got to say. So, I get on his channel, Best Fight the Best. We talk, we chop it up, and, you know, he got the best of me, and it's cool. I have no worries about that. I even put it on my channel that he's the 11th video. Look at the ones without the thumbnails and scroll it up. He's the 11th video or 16th video. And I said, I got an L. Big deal. But then this nigga lied on me again. See, y'all niggas, these Errol Spin se sexuals, they like to put shit on top of the cake. And, and, and they like to twist shit. Right? So this is the problem you had with me. He wasn't catching an L. The problem was you got on your channel. And you told these motherfuckers on your channel. And I'm an up and coming channel. I would never, never do that to another channel. You told these motherfuckers that, yeah, he's going to go back on his channel. And he's going to say that I body him. No. Knock out. I mean, be, see, y'all both the same. Y'all cut from the same cloth, yo. Um, best fight the best. I would, I would never do something like that. Look, you know what? From now on, I'm going to put this disclaimer out. I'm going to show you. Also... That I told this nigga in his face I told this nigga in his face That I'm gonna use these niggas In my video I never use my channel And use other people videos To make my videos um, To get subscribers Never did that But now Watch what I show you So as you can see, I got consent from Best Fight the Best. And I'm showing you I'm a stand-up dude, man. L's don't mean nothing to me. Uh my pride, um, getting hurt, getting embarrassed and stuff like that. Don't things don't bother me. You want to talk about my you know, my, my family and all this shit. Yeah, if I call you a bitch ass nigga, right? And then you say your mammy is a bitch ass nigga, well then you you're striking another area where I'm gonna strike harder. You see what I'm saying? If I say you a bitch ass nigga, you could call me a bitch ass nigga. But if you're going out the realm of somebody else trying to pinch a nerve with me, well, then I'm going to pinch plenty nerves. Plenty, plenty. All right? That means we ain't fighting fear no more. When I call you a bitch ass nigga, you call me back a bitch ass nigga. That's it is what it is, man. So, yeah, I got issues with Knockout because he's cut from the same core of this nigga best fight the best. And I'm telling you right now, Errol Spence channels now I'm going to talk to the Terrence Crawford channels man alright because we're smaller channels and I want y'all to do this for me man not for me but let's do it for Terrence Crawford I don't care fuck the idea and where it came from hey any of y'all could take the idea and say I, Caps never said it 3 Illa, Mac Mob, Rebel Life um um oh uh, <laughs> yo 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 uh, main man made man right um, if the list goes on, the list goes on. Um, 
listen to this. Their channels are bigger than ours, man. They they platform is bigger than ours. LDBC, and then you got ones that pretend they're not LDBC. Um, and they got bigger channels, right? But let's say to these niggas, all at the fucking same time, let's create history, man. Because this is an undisputed two-time um, fight going on. Two-time, two-time, right? For Crawford, right? And this is talking about being on the wrong side of history. And we can't let this go. We can't let this fucking fly, man. I don't care if y'all niggas don't like me. Listen, I like people that don't like me and I subscribe to me. If you don't like how I move, you don't like how I fucking roll and using other people clips and shit like that. And you think I'm I'm, I'm half-stepping, I'm fake-pumping and all that. Fine, I'll still like you and I'll still give you positive um promotion on my channel even though you don't ask for it even if you don't like the way i talk the way i look the way i i don't care if i like you i like you that's it and, and i will promote it if i hate you i'm going to use you as example not hate you that's a big that's a hard word if i dislike you i'm going to put you on my channel and use you as a motherfucking example that's it i'm a fan of the sport before i'm a fan of a boxer what what you say oh yes Back in the days, I had Manny Pacquiao beating Errol Spence and Crawford. And I used to make videos. Yes, I am. I am a fan of a sport before I'm a fan of boxing. So to this day, I still got Manny Pacquiao beating Errol Spence. But when it comes to Crawford now, but let me explain. Because it's not wrong with switching. It's not wrong with switching your change depending on what happened in the past and what I saw for Manny Pacquiao. When he fought Keith Thurman. Now, if Keith Thurman, if he if if he fought Keith Thurman that way, he's gonna fight Crawford that way. Then I I would I would take Crawford. I mean, I would take Ma uh, Manny Pacquiao because I always say, um, back in the days, we don't know if um, Crawford Chin is suspect, and the only person I know that could give me the conclusion of his chin is Manny Pacquiao because it's the punches you don't see. All right, and his footwork. So I always use Manny Pacquiao. I said Manny Pacquiao will. Bust down Earl Spence like this, but when it comes to Crawford, it's another story. It's gonna be it's gonna be kind of hard to tell. But I had Manny Pacquiao beating him, right? But then I saw Ugas fight Manny Pacquiao, and I said, Manny Pacquiao, my, my, Manny, if you fight Crawford like you fought fucking Ugas, I got Crawford beating your ass. But if you have yourself fighting the way you was fighting Thurman, you got a better chance of fighting of um, beating Crawford. That's 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 my um, prediction right now in the future, right? So, because the way I see it, Ugas just stand here for Spence, but Ugas didn't stand here for Manny Pacquiao. He was all over the place with looping punches, running here, running there, moving around, all this shit, right? And Manny was just standing there because he said he claimed his he had like, crab leg. Listen, crab legs, cramp legs, or whatever the fuck. You know what the fuck I'm talking about, right? But you got y'all niggas got to understand. Once a man step in the ring. It's a wrap. Once a man step in the ring, it's over. The excuses are over. Everything's already in the record books. It's like me. I bust this nigga ass down the block, right? Right? I bust this nigga ass down the block. Now, one day I go to the gym, I hurt my back. Right? Or I hurt my leg and I'm limping. This nigga see me. Fucked up. Now he want to throw blows with me. You think people around me worried about my leg or my back? No, they only see me getting fucking thumped up. That's all that matters is what people see last. So even I bust this nigga ass years ago, and now he see me limping because I'm sore, I got a strain. He see the upper hand, he gonna get me. He gonna get me. And all the people around gonna say, yeah, that nigga fucked him up. Capsule full got fucked up. That's all they see. They don't know that the people that's walking down blocks saw me limping or got a fucked up ankle or I hurt it in gym. Nobody don't care about that shit. All they know is that your ass got bust down at that moment in that very moment. So what I'm trying to say is here. Crawford and Errol Spence. With Manny Pacquiao at the time, I did have Manny Pacquiao being Errol and Crawford. But like I said, if Craw if Manny was fighting Ugas the way he fought Ugas, Crawford would whip Manny Pacquiao ass. That's one. If Croft, if Manny Pacquiao was fighting the way he was fighting Keith Thurman, then I feel that Manny Pacquiao had the chance to be Crawford. That's one. Okay? So, where the fuck am I now? 
See, I'm rambling now. I'm rambling because I'm going back in the past. I hate going in the past. So now, undisputed, two-time, welterweight. Don't worry about what Derek James says about this. Welterweight, two-time, undisputed. All right, 140 and 147. So when Crawford make history, why all the Terrence Crawford channels? Do we all, all little? Why we can't come like Voltron? Why we can't come like Voltron? And, 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 and say to these Errol Spence bigger channels and say, listen, man, I bet your channel. I bet your channel for two months. I'm sorry, y'all lame. One month. I doing two months. One month. I bet your channel. And you could talk about all the boxes you want, but you can't talk about the the after the post fight of Errol Spence and Crawford for one month. You can't you can't talk. You can't say shit, man. You know Errol. You know Crawford would be so happy. Those niggas ain't saying shit. You know why? Because they bet their channel. And this is what I'm calling a universal thing that we should be doing. Because like I said, we give. Hold on. Damn, somebody calling me. Hold on. I got a call. But at this moment, what we could do for Crawford is bet these other fucking channels. Rebel, me, man, I don't care. Y'all could take the credit. I don't want the credit. Y'all could say that I never said this, man. But it would be beautiful. It would be beautiful that every channel, let's do something in history, man. Because Crawford's about to make history, man. And these niggas that's not on the right side of history got to be exposed, my nigga. They gotta be fucking exposed, man. Because these niggas gonna find a way to get out of this motherfucker. And if I tell you, let's say these niggas can't talk about Crawford and Errol Spence, well, that means they can't come up with all this bullshit at the end of the day. And they gotta keep quiet where the Crawford fans can keep talking that shit. About two time, two time, two time. And these niggas can't say shit. See, it's easy to say, I'm going to send you some cash app money, bet your channel. I'm going to send you some Zillow, whatever whatever you want to say. You can say all that shit you want and bet someone and no one could come up with all these channels. But can we, a channel versus a channel? This is healthy competition. We talk this shit every day, 24-7. The fight had to take five years. I started my channel three years ago when I heard that Errol Spence was going to fight Manny Pacquiao. Don't listen to this bitch ass skunt knockout talking about I had my shit for 10 years. I only got one blood clot channel. One channel, my nigga. And this nigga gonna lie? Best fight, the best gonna lie on me? All right, my niggas. So what it's gonna be, man? Because I'm coming back, me, man. I'm coming back and I'm gonna say I modified this two, two months. One month for these bitch ass sensitive beta bitches. Um, channels, Errol Spence sexual channels, and I don't understand. Like the subscribers, I want y'all, my subscribers, go to these fuckboys channels and say, bet your channel a month not to talk about Errol Spencer Crawford. You could talk about anybody else, but at the end of the month, I see, I see the prediction. Nah, man, I, I put too much work. I put work in my channel. I put work in my channel. I don't put as much as y'all do. But my minute, my videos be 30, 40, an hour a minute. Because it is what it is. I love this sport as much as you do too. Don't tell me. If I tell you to shut your channel down, you're going to tell me, nah, man, you don't really love boxing because you're trying to stop people from. Nah, I ain't trying to stop shit. I'm stopping y'all motherfucking Aerosmith. Stop fucking yapping your mouth and talking all kind of ru rubbish. Because that's what the fuck you're going to do when Errol fucking loses. You're going to find excuses. I don't want to hear for a month. All I want to hear is hail, hail and praise of Terrence Crawford winning and nobody doubting and hating on his win. That's what I want. And I'm sure if we come together like fucking Voltron and say, listen, two months, one month, shut your channel down and, and, and put the rules. You could talk about any other boxer. See, your channel ain't shutting down. You can't talk about Errol and Spence. Fucking spitting. You can't talk about Errol and Spence. I mean, Errol, fuck. You can't be talking about Errol and Crawford. You can't. You know how much that would be eating them up in live? Do you know how much that would eat them up in live? That they can't be a part of history after the fight? After the motherfucking fight? Can it be done? Can we do something just as much as Crawford's doing, making history? Rebel. Three Illa, Mac Mob. Um, oh, 
yo, this dude right yo, check, yo, subscribe to this man right here. Check it, check it out. Oh, cool subscribe to OD Loke TV, man. Yo, he be making me laugh, yo. And he be spitting facts, yo. He don't know me. He don't know me. I don't even know if he subscribe if he subscribed to me or he know my channel, whatever. But go subscribe to that man, yo. He is, you know who he sound like? You know who he sound like? He sound like Dave Chappelle. Now you know I'm a I'm a, I'm a subscriber for life, man. Cause I love Dave Chappelle. And the way you laugh and the way you be putting shit out and the way you yo, your voice is classic, man. You're the Dave Chappelle of fucking this community boxing, my dude. So I will listen to you all day, every day. And I will push your channel. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. I don't. I don't. I like you. You chill to me. And I'm going to push it. Regardless. So go, go subscribe to OD. <laughs> yo, this nigga, yo. I listen to him, man. And, and big up to Coach Malachi. And big up to Y. World Combat Sports. Yo, I got so many channels in my mind. But right now... Is 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 undisputed two time world to wait. Can we just all come along with Voltron, man? I don't want to take the credit. I listen, y'all come to my channel, share, like, subscribe. Y'all don't want to subscribe to me. Fine, I don't care, man. I ain't putting that work in like y'all niggas, man. But but can we do something in history? Cause these niggas got bigger channels than we do. They got bigger audience. They know how to influence and manipulate the brains and minds. And put all this rubbish in these people's brain about Crawford. About Crawford. So, all I'm saying, I got to make a move. Like, share, subscribe if you want. If not, hey, it is what it is. There's plenty of bleach ass niggas like Best Fight the Best and, and um, Knockout 86 TV. But I'm showing you the proof that these niggas lied on me. And it's not about losing. Losing to me is a part of life, man. These niggas... That's why my name is Caps and Fool. There's a couple of reasons why my name is Caps and Fool. One, uh, I have to write in caps because, you know, I'm getting older and sometimes I write in regular and I can't see what the fuck I'm writing in the comments. So I put caps, right? The other reason why, I cap. I fucking cap. And I admit it, I cap. See, these niggas don't want to admit that they cap because of their pride. It is what it is, man. And I cap. You know why? People will say, no, nah, I'm not capping. Cause they agree on me, but the ones that don't agree with me, they're always gonna say I'm capping. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out, nigga, and say I'm capping. I'm capping, nigga. Listen, like, share, subscribe. It's not what they say; it's what they're not saying. I'm not here to change your mind. I want you to read between the lines, and um, let's let's come together, man. And every time you see these niggas talk this shit, say, yo, bet your channel, man. Just bet your channel that you can't speak about Arrow and Crawford. You could talk about all the boxers you want, but you can't talk about them at the end of the fight. And let's see. Let's see what they say. Because it's what they're not saying. But let's see what they say. And when they say, no, nah, man, but you, why would you say that? I modified the rules. You could talk about anybody. You don't have to shut your channel down. No, nah, man. Now you see who's faking the funk out here, man. Now you can see who's a real fucking skunk. Right? A real fucking skunk. Dotish motherfucking skunt. Now we can see who's really narcissistic. Now we can see it's about your words and 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 and, and, and trying to be a god. Cause best fight the best thing he a god. This nigga think he a god, nigga. And he got worshippers. Then you got subscribers. He got worshippers, nigga. I don't see what the fuck these niggas seeing. But you keep those niggas over there, man. Cause I don't want you to describe to me, man. I really don't, man. I look at these these niggas. It's yo, know, they followers. They ain't leaders, man. They sheeps. But hey man You know me I don't get mad Just remember I don't get mad Wait, you, You'll understand later What I mean by that Alright yo I'm out One um, Crawford channels I don't want to take the credit I don't care But it would be nice If all of us say Bet your channel That would be the Yo That would make my heart Yo I, know, I swear Crawford would love this shit Tell can I imagine I get up one morning and I say, Spence, Spence, I'm on everybody's channel. Oh my God, I would love this. It takes one, it takes two, then you got three, then you got four, then you got five. Spence, cha Spence channels. Fucking get it together. Fucking get it together. Spence channels. Bet your channel one month. After fight, you can't talk about Spencer Crawford. You could talk about everybody else. And, 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 and guess what? I'm going on these motherfucking Spence channels. And I'm going to ask them, 
Every fucking single one. So you better block me. You better motherfucking block me because I'm going to give you this heat and I'm going to put it on my channel. Yeah, I'm going to put it on my channel. So you better act like you don't know and act like you ignore me and act like don't even put a fucking comment because if I see it coming from another channel that's a Spence channel, I'm coming for you. Even if I got love for you, I'm coming for you and I'm going to ask you, are you willing to take this challenge? And if you say yes, you're the man. And I, and I, because it's Spence channels that I, I listen to that I enjoy. They're not aerosexuals. They just got one thing different. They just different. You know what's different about them? They just got Spence beating Crawford. That's all they got. That's all they got. It's it, that's it. They're not going through resumes. They're not going through all this foolish shit and all this um all this shenanigans and, and, and foolish talk. They just got Spence beating Crawford. And I can respect those channels. I can respect it like Red Cardinal. I can respect Big Knock, Nocturnal Thoughts. I can respect these brothers. So if they say I'll take the challenge and they say I won't talk about Bud or Arrow after the fight and they're going to talk about all the other boxers, your channel still move on, but you, you just can't be part of the history at the end of the channel. You just can't be part of it. That's it. But I will respect you and your subscribers will respect you. Your subscribers will fuck off me. Your, subscribe, your subscribers will respect you more that you're a man of your word. You put up and you fucking shut up. That's what put up but shut up means, man. Oh yeah, I had to go back to work. But when I say one month, right, to these Errol Spence fans, they're going to say this shit. Oh, uh, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, my nigga. Let me tell you something about being serious. Sports is very fucking serious, my dude. Sports is very fucking serious. Tell them those dudes, not American football, but football, right? And hockey and, 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 and any sport that they get busy and shake and bake outside the ring and fuck each other about. Tell that to these motherfuckers, Errol Spence and Tara Crawford, Tara Crawford fans, outside the ring when they fuck each other up because they don't like the other person cheering. Yo, this shit is very serious, my dude. This is very serious. And if any channel, Spence bitch-ass channels, say, well, you know, it's not that serious. Yo, best fight the best. This nigga already saying he ain't going to the fight. You went to Devin, you went to Wilder, but all of a sudden now you ain't going to uh, Arrow's fight? You ain't representing Arrow? I smell weakness, nigga. Because you know somebody going to confront your fucking bitch ass with that best fight the best hat and best fight the best t-shirt. Right? Because they know you talk that bullshit. And them Omaha boys, them goons looking for you, my dude. I know they looking for you. And they going to be there. And they going to want to put a fucking pelt in your fucking face, man. They going to take a pelt to your face, man. So when these niggas say, it's not that serious. All my life watching sports. I see motherfuckers beat each other up over sports, man. All my life watching soccer, football, whatever we call it. Football, right? People kill each other over fucking sports. What the fuck are you talking about? This shit ain't serious. No, you ain't serious. Because it's all about you and your fucking opinions and your narcissistic ways. So I'm not trying to hear that shit. You hear what I'm saying? I'm not trying to hear that shit. This fight is coming. Shut your shit down for one month. No, no, no. You're on timeout. Errol Spence fucking subscribers. You cannot talk about Crawford's victory. You cannot talk about Errol Spence losing. We don't want to hear it for one month. And if you can't bet your channel, then we I already know what kind of person you are. You're a bitch ass nigga. That's what it is, man. I'm putting it out there. Anybody that don't take this fucking challenge to me, that's an Errol Spence fan, it's a bitch ass nigga, man. It is what it is. I don't care, man. I'm tired with the fucking. It's, we need to put this put up or shut up in, in practice. Put up or shut up. Because that's all we do. All these channels. Crawford and Spence channels. Any channel that's talking about boxing. We run our fucking trap. What do we give back to subscribers? We don't got no integrity to say that we can't shut the fuck up. And show to our subscribers. We were. We born. We were to our born. We born to our word. We can't do that. Come on man. Get the fuck out of my face.